During the struggle for independence, churches played an active role in petitioning and sending open letters to the then South African government and the United Nations about injustices, human rights abuses, and illegal occupation of Namibia. But that voice of unity appears to have gone silent in the current political landscape. We have so many issues, socioeconomic issues facing us. The statistics do tell us that poverty has come down, and perhaps that's not surprising. It should have come down, of course. Um, but the economy has failed to create jobs. We have uh, nearly a third of the population living in shacks, and we have trouble accessing um, clean water um, and other basic requirements uh, for living. Um, obviously, we talked, um, the pastor earlier mentioned, you know, that the, if there were more Christians who are active in governments, we might have less problems, and one of those would be corruption, of course. The church's role in politics is to be there visibly in the context of political policy formulation. The church has to be prophetic, speaking for God. The church has to herald the ethical values that enrich a nation. The church has to be bold and forthcoming, constructive and innovative. The church has to be the salt and the light in what is so often corrupted environment to bring light and help. Psalms 115 verse 16 says the following. It says, the heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth he has given into the hands of men. So he has given us stewardship of this planet. And, 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 and we are responsible to God how we steward this planet or how we steward the systems that we've created as human beings. And obviously, one of the things that has been said, and I want to reiterate it, is that God is apolitical. What do I mean by that? God is not standing for any political party, but God is standing for God's people in every political party. The event included a panel made up of individuals from different institutions and concluded that the church cannot seek its relevance from the liberation struggle credentials. Instead, the church has to look into its own basis as set out in biblical scripture.